Today on Discover Wisconsin, I'm checking out eight unique Wisconsin cheeseburgers. Wake up your taste buds, it's gonna be a delicious show. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. This is an anthem For those who look for more And never say they've seen it all Windows and blacks Take a The girl has great Tonight This episode of Discover Wisconsin, America's Dairyland, is brought to you by the Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. Cheeseburgers, the all-American comfort food, is today's focus. From specialty cheeses crafted by local cheesemakers to gourmet meats and toppings, this fan favorite is showcasing the best of what Wisconsin has to offer. I'll start my tour in the western part of the state. For my first stop on the tour, I'm a stone's throw from the Mississippi River in La Crosse, where burgers and breakfast come together no matter what time of the day it is at Burger Fusion. Burger Fusion was founded with the idea of elevating the overall cheeseburger experience. And since its inception in 2014, it's done just that. The breakfast burger is kind of the best of both worlds when it comes to uh, a mixture of breakfast and lunch. There's a huge brunch movement right now in America and we feel like we really capitalized on that with this burger creation. Using as many locally sourced ingredients as possible, including award-winning Wisconsin cheese, this burger restaurant is known for fusing different meats together to form a scrumptious patty. We have some very centric combinations. So for instance, with the breakfast fusion burger, we take certified Angus beef, ground sausage, and ground bacon, then we fuse it together, ball it up, and smash it on a grill. I say we give this a try. Now look at this. We're talking ground beef, breakfast sausage and bacon together in a patty. We've got a nice fried egg on top. We have Wisconsin cheese, cheddar cheese, blended with hash browns, black forest ham, and a little schmear of peanut butter on the bottom. All your favorite breakfast foods in one burger. <laughs> and you taste every single one of them. Good morning. Whether it's a case of not having time for breakfast or craving breakfast all day long, this cheeseburger is fantastic any time of day. But if you want to stick to tradition, let's head to Green Bay to the Cannery Market. This restaurant also features a mixed meat patty that's topped with Black River Blue cheese that will satisfy your lunch or dinner craving. So this is the Black and Blue Burger here at the Cannery in Green Bay. This is as local and about as unique as it gets. Time to enjoy. But before I take my first bite, let me share a bit about this farm to fork restaurant. The Pagel family from Kiwani wanted to share their story and their wholesome farm fresh ingredients with others. So they opened the restaurant and market where people could gather and experience local seasonal foods. It's all about the hard work of the family and all the employees that we have that we're able to deliver product from the farm all the way to the customer. So we get to go full circle. I work with all of the businesses operationally, and then I get to also work with the general manager here at the cannery. It truly is a family-run business with the food sourced locally. And it's fantastic. There's unique flavors in this meat because you have three different kinds. The smoked bacon, it's delicious. That smoky feel adds a lot to the burger. And that blue cheese aioli, it's Wisconsin blue cheese in an aioli form. So it's mayonnaise-based. Adds a lot of moisture to this burger. And when you bite down on this, you get all those layers of flavor at once. And speaking of cheese, that's sourced from a local cheesemaker. And Pagel says it's what makes this burger the number one seller on the menu. We wanted something different than everybody else, so we experimented until we got it just right, and it's been very popular. No doubt, and the flavors blend perfectly for a tasty one-of-a-kind cheeseburger. That was an amazing cheeseburger I just had. The cannery is not only a great market here in Green Bay, but a terrific restaurant. They know how to do it local, and they know how to create unique flavors. Two down, six to go. Head to discoverwisconsin.com to learn about all the different places I visit on my Wisconsin cheeseburger tour. Stay tuned, because I'm tackling this burger next, and it's going to be a tough battle. Welcome back to America's Dairyland where we're discovering eight unique Wisconsin cheeseburgers. 
So I'm here in New Glarus, and I'm not exactly sure what a burger war is, but I'm about to find out. Tucked away in downtown New Glarus is Cow and Quince, a farm to table restaurant that specializes in fresh tastes and fun local food. And on Friday nights, they have a special on the menu called Burger Wars. As alarming as that may sound, it's absolutely harmless. It really came about just a sense of playfulness for those of us that work here. Uh, gave us kind of something amusing to do at the same time as to continue to honor the seasonality of our ingredients. The featured cheeseburgers change monthly, depending on what's in season. Each person in the Cow and Quinn's kitchen puts forth a burger, and at the end of three to four weeks, uh, whoever has sold the most burger gets to claim themselves winner. So it makes it fun for everybody. Specialty cheese is always in season in Wisconsin, and because of the restaurant's proximity to Monroe, there was award-winning Roth Buttermilk Blue and Roth Grand Cru on these burgers. And some interesting people show up for the skirmish. You know, it's not every day you get to have a burger war with a cheesemaker. This is Rob from Emmy Roth. You ready for this? I'm ready for this. The bacon and the grass-fed patty are awesome enough. But the buttermilk blue on this has a creamy tanginess. It's just fantastic. How's yours? It's aspiration of the spring burger. Yeah. Having asparagus on a burger, it's awesome. Along with the Roth Grand Cru, just unbelievable. My burger is still better. No, my burger is better. Mm -mm. And the battle continues. I'm throwing in the towel. This burger was fantastic, but I want to try that one next time. Yeah, I definitely want to try your burger next time, too. Yeah, I think this burger war had a happy ending. Truce? Truce. While the theme for the burgers may be war, it's clear from the taste that each one is made with one special ingredient, passion. It's in the food. It's in all of the food, right? The, just like the love and concern and care for how the food is grown and raised. So that's where it starts, I think. And then I think the, the cheese, of course, would be next because we are in Wisconsin and have amazing cheese available to us. So that, that makes a difference. Specialty cheese from a local cheesemaker always makes a difference on a burger. And if you're in the area, this is one battle that you'll want to get in on. Trust me, it's a win-win. It's time for burger number four, and you don't always have to go with beef. I'm here for an elk burger at Scani's in Schofield. Although it may look like your typical Wisconsin pub, Scani's is anything but. With a menu that rivals any top-notch restaurant, this local favorite packs its food with a ton of flavor, and the elk burger is the number one seller. It has a different flavor profile, the leanness. So with it being so lean, adding bacon and that great cheese, and a nice sauce that brings it all together. Uh, I think that's what makes it great. Locally sourced ingredients like Marika's smoked Gouda help take the elk burger over the top. And it's becoming one of the most popular items at Scani's. We're in the Fertile Crescent, so we have just some fantastic produce, uh, fantastic uh, dairy farmers, and just great milk, in which in turn makes great cheese. And we're really in a lucky space uh, in, the, in the country for that. It's also just a superior product. One way to elevate the humble burger is by using a different kind of meat and pairing it with an award-winning Wisconsin cheese. Wow. <laughs> Elk is a leaner meat than beef, but that flavor really powers through. And the smoked Gouda around it hugs it like a blanket. This is phenomenal. Then the Nolchek bacon, absolutely fantastic. By the way, the cheese from Marika and the Nolchek bacon, both from nearby Thorpe. And the elk raised right here in the area. So this is truly local deliciousness. Plan your very own unique Wisconsin cheeseburger adventure by downloading a free itinerary of all the burger joints we visited at discoverwisconsin.com. Coming up. This is the cheesiest burger I've ever eaten. Honest to God. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss it. Welcome back to America's Dairyland. Eight unique Wisconsin cheeseburgers. 
I'm in Sun Prairie between historic Angel Park Speedway and an ice rink. And sandwiched in between is Willie Ty's Eatery, where I get to have my first stuffed cheeseburger. That's the specialty here at Willie Ty's, the stuffed cheeseburger. With several to choose from, you'll definitely find one to your liking. Hey, it's different. Everybody's used to the traditional burger with the cheese outside. It's no secret. People have heard of the Juicy Lucy in Minnesota. We wanted to take it in a different direction and, and compound it by making several burgers with all different types of cheese inside. And, you know, it's fun. Of course, they use locally sourced Wisconsin specialty cheeses to stuff the burgers with. But the toppings are different and lend a special taste to these juicy masterpieces. We've done Manchego cheese, we've done Amish blue cheese, we've done so many different things on the burgers. Any cheese product basically we try to use, um, we switch up meats a little bit, you know, trying uh, different spice blends in the meat, different combinations of meat, everything. I mean, like I said, it's endless. And the buns too, depending on the burger, we'll switch up the buns all locally. Well, that got my taste buds going. Time to start eating. This is the drunken mushroom burger and fries and paprika aioli. And uh, since inside this burger, you see a lot of red wine braised mushrooms and cheese on the outside, Swiss cheese. There's some on the inside too. So I'm gonna do the wise thing, cut it in half first. So when we open this burger up, check that out. You have red wine braised mushrooms and Swiss cheese on the outside, but you also have it on the inside. This is a stuffed burger patty and it's just delicious because you get two layers of that same flavor that just pop into your mouth as you chew on this burger. Toasted bun adds a little crunch. It's really a fantastic and unique burger. <laughs> you can taste the red wine and the mushrooms. That's Swiss, mushrooms and Swiss are always great on a cheeseburger and expect some hot cheese in the middle. Mm, it's fantastic. With specialty stuffed burgers using cheese from local cheesemakers, you're sure to find one that you'll enjoy eating or partially wearing next time you're in the area. Oh man, I'm as stuffed as that burger was when it showed up, but it was fantastic. I highly recommend the Drunken Mushroom. Well, three cheeseburgers to go. I better get going. My next unique Wisconsin cheeseburger is waiting for me at the Crafty Cow in Oconomowoc. Specializing in craft brews and specialty burgers, their signature burger is called the Cheesehead Cheeseburger, and here's why. We actually take five different types of cheeses, we stuff it all into a half pound burger, and then we take more cheese, we take cheese curds and we deep fry them, we put that on top, and then we take even more cheese than that with the cheese sauce that we make in house, and we put that on top of the cheeseburger too. If you want a fully loaded cheeseburger featuring a five cheese blend from a local cheese company, then this is the place for you. This is a lot of ways to eat a cheeseburger, inside and out. Now inside this burger, <laughs> we've got a five cheese blend. On top of the burger, right here, deep fried cheese curds. And of course on top, because why not, beer cheese sauce. You can't cut this burger in half, because there's a surprise inside. Well, let's dive into it, shall we? <laughs> wow. Multitudes of cheese. Oozing in every direction, I might add. Oh man, fantastic. This burger is full of cheesy goodness. It's almost easier to keep eating rather than putting it down to rest and tidy up a bit. I can already tell you, this is a 10 napkin burger, if there ever was one. So if a stuffed Wisconsin cheeseburger is what you're craving, we've given you a couple great options. Head to discoverwisconsin.com and check out some photos from our cheeseburger shenanigans if you need more inspiration to try one of these unique Wisconsin cheeseburgers. Whew. Told you it was a 10 napkin burger or so. Fantastic one here at the Crafty Cow. That's six unique cheeseburgers down. Two more to go. And we're gonna turn up the heat on these next two. Stay tuned. We're back in America's Dairyland, discovering eight unique Wisconsin cheeseburgers. I'm here in Milwaukee, ready to try unique Wisconsin cheeseburger number seven. And we're turning up the heat today with the Campfire Burger, which heats things up with chipotle and jalapeno and cools it down with a layer of Bel Gioioso blue cheese right here at Stacked. True to its name, Stacked Burger Bar offers grass-fed beef patties piled with delectable ingredients. One of the more popular cheeseburgers is the Campfire Burger. I had a, a chef here a while ago that designed it. 
ran it as a special. I ended up buying it from him for $100, a recipe, which was pretty basic. But uh, he let me put it on the menu, and it's taken off since. It's probably our best-selling, you know, maybe right behind the, the Hangover Burger. Loaded with spice, heat, and Bel Gioioso's Italian blue cheese, this cheeseburger will please those looking to spice things up a bit. This is the campfire burger. Look at that. The bacon, the blue cheese. I smell the chipotle mayo. And this bacon has jalapenos in it. Let's take the temperature. Where do I start? Wow. This is a grass-fed beef burger, sprouted grain bun, and in between, amazingness. Chipotle mayo, jalapeno bacon, and that Wisconsin blue cheese just cools down the heat of that jalapeno and that chipotle. This is delightful. Fun atmosphere and great burgers make this a must stop for any cheeseburger enthusiast. Seven down, one to go, and the next one's even spicier. So, I headed back to the northwest part of the state to Ellsworth. Known as the cheese curd capital of Wisconsin, it's soon going to be known for another reason. Ah, coming in out of the rain here in Ellsworth, I'm at Common Man Brewing ready for burger number eight, the last one. And I might need this rain to cool off after I try the Fire Breather Burger, but I'm ready. This eclectic brew pub serves up fantastic homemade food using locally sourced ingredients, including cheese from Ellsworth Creamery. And owner Russ Corpola is going to give me a couple good reasons to try the Fire Breather Burger. Well, one, uh, our local creamery here in town makes a wonderful ghost pepper cheese. And we just thought we had to use it. People talk about it all the time. And second, doesn't a Fire Breather Burger sound kind of dangerous? And so it kind of stands out from the rest of our menu. Chef Angie Larson is in the kitchen preparing my cheeseburger, and I'm fully committed to finding out what a dragon's mouth feels like. Look at that. We're talking ghost peppers, ghost pepper habanero cheese, pineapple pepper chutney. Wow. You can smell it off the bun. <laughs> this is why I got milk. Because if this thing is as spicy as it smells, <laughs> mm. Wow, that is really good. Starting to feel my inner dragon coming out here. Did I mention, by the way, there are ghost peppers on the burger, ghost pepper habanero cheese, made from Ellsworth Creamery right down the street. Then on top of that, a pineapple pepper chutney. We're talking three layers of spice, kicking spice, on top of this delicious burger. Toasted brioche bun helps too. A little arugula for color. This is truly a remarkable burger. Flavorful and fantastic. One show, eight burgers, all topped with delicious specialty Wisconsin cheeses from our local cheesemakers. If there's any cheeseburger nirvana, I found it. And it's Wisconsin cheese that gives it its glory. Ready? 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 All right, ready? Ready? I'm getting in the groove. Ready? Hey, how you doing? Here we go to that hot burger. There's some moopas for you. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Trevor. I appreciate it.